You guys have been begging us for years to get out to Plainfield and visit Steve Barish's cheesecake store. But from what you're saying, there ain't nothing plain about these cheesecakes. Before we talk about your cheesecake store, could you ask your fans to cease and desist on our Facebook page now? Oh, I can never do that. No, guys, we're here! Now we can finally talk about your fabulous cheesecake store. The cheesecake started when I was about nine. At nine and years old, I was throwing mud at girls and telling them they smelled. You know, and, and I was doing the same thing also, but I like to sling cheesecake. 2010, I lost my job. I said to my wife, I want to sell cheesecake. I just started bringing cheesecake to whatever restaurant would take it. The cheesecake store happened four years later after selling cheesecake out of my car. We make our cheesecake in mason jars. You can take it with you on the go. It fits right in your cup holder of the car. The thing that's great is they have these little mini jars. They do it in those cute little jars. I like the fact that it's in these little cute mason jars. You can't feel guilty about eating a little cheesecake shoe. You can after your seventh one. Well, maybe, mm -hmm. yeah. We're here to make your cheesecake, your famous cheesecake. You want to pick one of those that we should make today? We are definitely doing turtle because that is everybody's favorite. In fact, it's Diana's favorite, one of our fans on Facebook. She said she also loves the turtle and every other single flavor that you've ever produced. It's because it's the best, right? Uh -huh. That's what I thought. Should we go make the best? Let's go make the Let's best. Go make the best. How much has this changed from when you were nine years old? The only thing, it's not as messy over here. Plus you're taller now, right? I'm a little taller, cool. uh, and I'm allowed to use a bigger mixer. You're an adult now, you no, can I'm do what adult. you want. These adults start by playing with graham cracker crust, cream cheese, and sugar. You've done this before. Uh, no, clearly I've not. Famous last words, Steve. Looks like you've done this before and I spill sugar everywhere. Next up, the eggs and homemade caramel sauce. I'll show you what I do sometimes when I know I'm going out at nighttime with the wife. Is that caramel a natural aphrodisiac? It's a possibility. Yeah? Rumor has it, so is vanilla. This is from... 2017, uh, was that a good 2017, year? 2017, that was an awesome year. It's a good year for vanilla. this open, just for you guys. Oh, this, is, this oh. is a new one. Last but not least, we throw in pecans and chocolate chips. What we have to do is put our cheesecake in our jars now. This is an antique, so don't break it. I will not. You know, has this um, been on the road show? Has it been valued? They told me that uh, it was worth nothing and to get out. Okay, so. <laughs> cool. You bake them, I'll go sit down, and when they're ready, come and find me. What is it about cheesecake that, that you find irresistible? Is cheese bad for you? Never. Is cake bad for you? No. Then I think it's a health food. Cheesecake's a health food. Health problem solved. So there we have it. You want to clink it first? Sure. Good luck. You're doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. Yeah, it should be like that. That is awesome. You throw it in a mason jar, it gives it that super fun element. I feel like a kid again anyway. Did I see you guys have a drive-thru? We do, we have a cheesecake drive-thru. Because I have cup holders, which are now jar holders. I'm gonna take a few with me, so I'm gonna jump in the Jeep Compass, drive around, and uh, get ready to load up.